So the World Health Organization says that climate change is the biggest health threat facing humanity. Why, you may ask? Well, climate change affects the food we eat, the air we breathe, the water that we drink, and even our shelter. But it doesn't stop there. The United States Environmental Protection Agency now says that those effects of climate change impact our physical health. Everything from our hearts to our sleep patterns to even our pregnancies. Our next guest studies all of the effects on climate change on our health. Dr. Nilu Tumala is a board certified physician and the co-director for the Climate Health Institute at George Washington University. Doctor, great to have you. You know, just considering everything that you have written about and talked about, is there one worry in particular that you have as a doctor when it comes to what we're experiencing right now through climate change? Right. Well, thanks for having me, Kara. You know, this is such an important topic to be uh, really highlighting at this moment. This summer was full of so many uh, heat extremes and poor air quality. Honestly, it's hard to pick one specific health concern related to climate change. I would say as a physician, um, you know, climate change is caused by the fossil fuel industry and currently not having um, a way to sort of effectively transition our economy away from the fossil fuel industry, what I'm most worried about is continued global warming and the impacts that will have on um, human health. You know, parts of the country, as you know, we've been talking about it every day, have been impacted by these extreme heat waves. In some cases, it's been deadly. And you've said that extreme heat is the greatest weather-related cause of death. Why is that the case? That is correct. And so, you know, a lot of the records uh, that we saw this past summer, you know, climate change was a major contributing factor to that. And while there are some other reasons that we experience such intense summer heat extremes, uh, again, the impact of climate change cannot be overlooked. And so, you know, what these heat extremes do to the body is it just presents an incredible amount of thermal stress on the body. And so this is especially a concern for anyone who may not be able to adapt to the heat extremes as well. So this includes elderly individuals, anyone with underlying heart or lung conditions, and of course, children. And so just for one example, you know, when uh, someone is exposed to the extreme heat, their heart has to work a lot harder to be able to get rid of that excess heat. And so if they already have underlying heart disease, then this puts them at higher risk of developing um, even worse um, heart conditions. Right, so we've got the heat and then we've got all these wildfires, right? So that is all the smoke that's in the air. Even those wildfires, right? The hundreds of the wildfires burning in Canada coming over into the US. Uh, we were inhaling that every day, having all kinds of issues that we were reporting on. You mentioned respiratory health, uh, cardiac health, but you've also talked about the threat to pregnant women. Correct, yes. Even just yesterday, I had a patient talking to me in clinic about how she had to stay indoors when the air quality was so poor just because every time she went outside, her breathing was impacted. And what was really concerning is that it just kept coming back. The, you know, the, the wildfire spoke from that really intensified uh, Canadian wildfire season, which is in, again, in part due to climate change. Um, and so there's been really um, interesting data uh, that we've been able to collect um, over the past uh, 10 years or so that have showed that both heat extremes and poor air quality um, do have um, a concerning impact on pregnant women, uh, most notably uh, linked to increased risk of low birth weight babies and premature birth. Wow. You know, I'm thinking about COVID, right, when that hit. We, there was so much we didn't know. We didn't know how it was going to impact our health. And then we had so many surprises and we learned so much of, of how you know, deadly uh, it, it was. When you think of climate change, you, any surprises that you've experienced uh, with, with patients or anything that you're tracking that maybe we're not talking enough about? Right. I think one of the most underappreciated things about the public health impacts of climate change is just how widespread the impacts are. So of course, you know, there's the concerns with heat extremes and poor air quality, uh, but as an ear, nose and throat physician, one of the things that I've seen a lot is how pollen allergy seasons are getting worse. And so allergy symptoms are starting earlier in the year and lasting longer, and there's more pollen in the air 
due to the effects of global warming. There's also been um, concern for spread of some um, infectious diseases. Uh, we just saw um, in Alaska, some homes were being lost to the uh, flooding and intensified hurricanes. So these have tremendous physical and mental health impacts. So I think that the breadth of the impacts is one of the most concerning um, conversations around climate change and is why clinicians like myself uh, are talking about it because we really want everyone to be aware of these public health concerns and then also how to protect themselves from them. Absolutely. We're going to keep talking about it as well. And I'm glad you mentioned mental health because tomorrow that's what we are going to be talking a lot about. So Dr. Nilu Tumala, sure appreciate your time, just the insight and teaching us something new today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.